Hello and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is day number 292 of the 365 day trivia road trip. All of the questions today come from the state of Texas. Karen Fortune submitted a 21 question trivia quiz. There's going to be 20 questions up front. There's a question 21 tiebreaker at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Thank you for watching and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. The tradition of having a president throw out the first ball of the season opener in Major League Baseball started more than 100 years ago. What 27th president was the first president to throw the ceremonial first pitch at a baseball game on April 14, 1910? The president that started that tradition was William Howard Taft. Question number two. This igneous rock is formed when gas bubbles escape from lava and the lava becomes frothy. This rock is used as an abrasive in cleaning, polishing, and in the shower for exfoliating the skin. What is this rock, which is the only rock that can float on water? The answer is pumice. Question number three, Peanuts is an American comic strip written and illustrated by Charles M. Scholes from 1950 until his death in 2000. The character Lucy is sometimes seen in her booth offering psychiatric advice to her friends. How much does Lucy typically charge for her psychiatric help? If you can picture her at her little booth, it says five cents above it. Five cents is the answer. Question number four. Gregor Mendel is known as the father of modern genetics. He established many of the rules for heredity while experimenting with crossbreeds of what type of plants between 1856 and 1863? What type of plants was Mendel famous for experimenting with? The answer is pea plants. Question number five in J.R.R. Tolkien's books and briefly mentioned in The Hobbit movie, there are five wizards in Middle-earth. We know of Gandalf the Grey, Saruman the White, and Radagast the Brown. What color are the other two wizards whose fates are unknown? There is the gray, the white, the brown, and the two blue wizards. Blue is the answer. Question number six, named after a southern state, what U.S. battleship which served in World War I and II and took part in landings in North Africa, Normandy, and the battles of Iwo Jima and Okinawa is the first U.S. battleship to become a permanent museum ship. The answer is the USS Texas. Question number seven. This NFL quarterback has many notable accolades, including records such as seven-time Super Bowl champion and five-time Super Bowl MVP over his 22-year career. Who is this quarterback who started his career with the New England Patriots and finished his career with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? That is the one and only Tom Brady. Question number eight. The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne tells the story of Hester Prynne, who was punished for a sin she committed by being forced to wear a scarlet letter for the rest of her life. What letter is she made to wear and for what crime?
The answer is an A. She had to wear an A and her crime was adultery. Question number nine. Alaska became a state on January 3rd and Hawaii became a state on August 21st of the same year. What year was it where Alaska and Hawaii became the 49th and the 50th U.S. states? The answer is 1959. Question number 10, Ron McGovney, Cliff Burton, and Jason Newstead are all former bass guitarists for this band. Guitarist Dave Mustaine formed Megadeth after being fired from this band. What is the name of this American heavy metal band that was formed in 1981 in Los Angeles? The answer is Metallica. Question number 11. What is the only flag that can be flown higher than the American flag? It is never seen. It is only displayed in times of national mourning when the American flag is at half mast. I haven't had any time to research this. I'm gonna have to look this up because I've never heard of the death flag, which apparently is just a symbolic flag that flies above the American flag. Anyways, question number 12. Black widow spiders have potent venom containing neurotoxin, which can cause symptoms such as pain, swelling, and in severe cases, vomiting and tachycardia. Only the females are venomous. They can be recognized by their dark color and the red or orange marking on the abdomen in what shape? It is in the shape of an hourglass. Question number 13. This metallic element is used in the galvanization process to apply a protective coating to steel or iron to prevent rusting, usually by dipping them in a molten bath of this metal. What is this element with the atomic number 30 that is used in the galvanization process? The answer is zinc. Question number 14. This anise flavored spirit is derived from wormwood, green anise, sweet fennel, and other medicinal and culinary herbs. Due to its natural green color, it has been called the green fairy. This spirit used to be banned due to its alleged, although unfounded, psychoactive properties. What is this spirit? The answer is absinthe. Question number 15. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a sci-fi comedy series by author Douglas Adams and is also the name of the fictional guidebook for hitchhikers in the novel. To reassure intergalactic travelers, what two words are written in large friendly letters on the cover? To put travelers at ease, it says, don't panic. Question number 16. In 1815, the eruption of Mount Tambora was one of the most powerful volcanic eruptions in recorded history. The ash from the eruption dispersed around the world and affected global temperatures, which resulted in the following year being famously known as what? Eighteen sixteen was known as the year without a summer. Question number seventeen: Mary Shelley's first publication of her Frankenstein novel was published anonymously in eighteen eighteen. It wasn't until eighteen thirty one when her next edition was published under her name. 
How old was Mary Shelley when she came up with the idea for Frankenstein? The answer is 18 years old. Question number 18. This type of venomous snake can be distinguished from vipers by their fixed short fangs, less triangular heads, and circular pupils. They include the coral snake, cobras, mambas, crates, death adders, and sea snakes. What are these type of snakes called? They are not vipers, they are elipids. Question number 19, ACDC was formed by brothers Malcolm and Angus Young. They were extremely successful with frontman Brian Johnson who replaced the original singer after he died of alcohol poisoning in 1980 shortly after the release of the album Highway to Hell. Who was the original singer of ACDC? The answer is Bon Scott. And question 20. The chorus of the song Take Me Out to the Ball Game is traditionally sung during the seventh inning stretch of a baseball game. What are the two snacks that are mentioned in the song? Sing it in your head real quick. Take me out to the park. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. Peanuts and cracker jacks is the answer, and that is the end of today's episode. Thank you very much to Karen Fortune for sending in an excellent trivia quiz. Categories all over the place. That's the way we like our random knowledge trivia quizzes. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have and you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to subscribe to the channel. We post new quizzes like this every single day. And right now we've got the viewer submitted quizzes going on, so a little bonus for you guys. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker for today. The largest manufactured pure gold bar was made in Japan by the Mitsubishi Materials Corporation in 2005 at the Naoshima Smelter and Refinery. How much does this gold bar weigh? You can answer in kilograms or in pounds. How big, how heavy is the world's largest manufactured pure gold bar? The answer is 250 kilograms or 551 pounds and two ounces. Whichever player got closest, I don't care which one you used, kilograms or pounds, but whichever player got closest to the correct answer is going to win the point because it is a tiebreaker. If it was tied coming in, if the score was 10-10, 7-7, whatever it was, whoever got closest is going to win the point, thus breaking the tie and winning the game. Congratulations. Thank you guys for watching. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. I believe, actually I know for sure, tomorrow's was submitted by Trish and Tom. So you've heard those names before because they've submitted a lot of trivia on this channel. Thank you, Trish and Tom. We look forward to playing your quiz tomorrow. See you then.